crafty friends welcome to today's video a couple of weeks ago i made a card in which i used some cosmic shimmer sparkle texture paste in new gold and i really enjoyed it and thought to myself i'm gonna have to buy some more when this runs out because it's beautiful and then i thought well i've got glitter i've got chunky glitter this iridescent chunky glitter and this really really fine glitter I wonder if I can make some texture paste of my own because sometimes the trouble with texture pastes is you buy all the different colours and then you use a little bit out of each pot and put it to the side and then the next time you come to use it it's dried up and you can't use it or they just sit there on the shelf mocking you saying use me use me and you just never do but what if I could just use my own glitter and create the amount of glitter paste that I wanted to use in a particular session and then I wouldn't have lots of glitter pastes or texture pastes hanging around. So I set about doing a few experiments. I mixed glitter with a variety of mediums and managed to create a few different glitter pastes with some degree of success with each one so I thought I'd share those experiments with you today and make some glitter paste and a card. So what you need to make your own glitter texture paste or glitter glue because that's really kind of what it is I think glitter glue is you need glitter obviously and you've probably got lots of different kinds of glitter different colors of glitter so you could experiment with the, those and you need a gluey medium that will dry clear and these are the ones that i've tested i've got the crafters workshop clear modeling paste liquitex matte gel medium ranger texture paste transparent gloss High Tack All Purpose Very Sticky Glue, which is basically PVA, Nouveau Crystal Drops in Morning Dew, Nouveau Glitter Drops in White Blizzard, Nouveau Crystal Glaze, and Ranger Glossy Accents. Now, Glossy Accents and Nouveau Crystal Glaze are very runny, so they didn't work when I wanted to put my glitter paste through a stencil because it oozed underneath the stencil. So we'll set those to one side. You can use them, but as I say, they're not so great with stencils. The Nuvo drops are a lot thicker and so they worked quite well. The Crafters Workshop Clear Modelling Paste wasn't great to be honest. I had high hopes for this because it says it dries clear, but unless I've got a dodgy pot, it doesn't dry clear. It dries kind of frosted. So that's a look if that's what you want, but it's not going to give you clear results. These two, the Liquitex Matte Gel and the Ranger Transparent Gloss Texture Paste worked really well. With the Ranger, I did chunky glitter through a stencil and tiny glitter through a stencil and they both worked, as I say, really well. I got some good results. The glitter and the paste pretty much stayed where I wanted it with the stencils. And this did as well. There was a little bit of seepage under the stencils, but not too much. So the texture paste transparent gloss is really good for making your own glitter paste. The matte gel medium dries matte as you might expect so it's not a glossy finish but it gives you this beautiful frosted appearance so if you want a frosty clear glittery effect then matte gel medium there are other brands it doesn't have to be liquitex i don't think uh, that is really good so we'll set that to one side because that's a slightly different look the one that surprised me, and I don't know why it surprised me, because it's obvious when you think about it, if you're making a glitter glue, is to use a PVA glue that dries clear. And this was the chunky one, and that was absolutely brilliant, totally perfect, really lovely. And the same with the tiny, tiny glitter. Now, the morning dew drops I mixed with the chunky glitter, and that was beautiful as well. The only thing is... I think these are quite an expensive way of making your own glitter glue because the Nouveau drops aren't cheap, but you do get a lovely result with it. 
and the white blizzard nouveau drops is already a glitter glue it's got the tiny iridescent glitter in it and what i did was with that one was i mixed it with a little bit of luscious powders and i got this absolutely stunning teal colored glitter glue and that led me on to further experiments and i tried all of my glues and pastes with and without glitter but also adding luscious powder and I was able to make coloured glitter texture paste by adding luscious powder to my mediums. So I think what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use PVA to make some glitter paste. To show you how I did it because it's dead simple, really is. Just get some glue, get some glitter, mix them together and voila! you've got a paste. You can't really see the glitter when it's wet because obviously the glue is still white. This isn't my usual spatula. I think my daughter's wandered off with my usual spatula. But I'm now I'm going to add some luscious powder. So this is just pigment powder with mica in it. Add that to my PVA to colour it. And you can obviously add as much or as little as you like to get a good mix. And I've got a bit of mixed media paper here. You can use any cardstock you like. I'm just going to gently scrape that on in a few places through this stencil. I'm not going to press too hard because I don't want to force the glue under the stencil. And then get this chunky glitter glue and mix it in. So I'm not looking for a perfect stenciling look. This is going to be a kind of mixy, blendy look. It doesn't really matter if some of it ends up going underneath the stencil. I'm just doing it really gently to try and minimise that. And you see you've used it all up and now you can clean up and you won't have lots of leftover glitter paste. So there is a bit of splurging in a few places but it's not too bad. But that's given me a lovely variegated, textural, colourful, sparkly, glittery background that I can now use on a card. But this needs to dry and I think the best way to do that is just to let it dry on its own and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So here we have our DIY glitter paste and DIY luscious powder paste and it's beautiful and shimmery. The luscious powder has still got its shimmer and so has the glitter. My card blank is approximately six by six inches. I've got a square of cardstock that I'm going to pop in the middle and I'm going to cut a smaller square from my glittery panel and I just need to choose where from. I think about here because I've got some nice strong teal paste there, lots of glitter and not much splurging. I'm going to pop a bit of card over just to protect the glitter paste from the cutting plate scratches and to help the die go through the card and the paste. There we go. I'm thinking I might actually cut another square in between those two sizes and colour it with the teal. To colour this bit of card, I'm going to use this DIY gilding wax that I made during my Pigment Powders 101 series, which I'll link above and in the video description. So this is just pigment powder and beeswax furniture polish. I think it's got a bit of olive oil in it as well. So it's non-toxic. And that just adds a bit of the teal around the edge. Now I'll add a bit of glue to the back of this bit. Pop it on here. I don't have a square die exactly that size. 
So I've used my trimmer to chop it down and I'm going to run this embossing tool around the edge and that just bevels the edge of the card, makes it curve over slightly so it looks as if it's been die cut. This can now go on this square. So I'm thinking I'll pop this here in the middle with the teal going across the middle and sort of leaping upwards as if it were waves splashing. I've got some dyes here that I think look a bit like seaweed. So I'm going to cut them from smooth white cardstock and then maybe gild them a bit with that gilding wax that I used on the square. So I'll get a little bit of that on my finger and just blend it off as it were, I suppose onto my glass mat and then just glance my finger across my seaweed here now pop those on there i think i'm going to cut a small, maybe a small circle of vellum just to sit behind them to give them a little bit of separation. Or I've got this, which is actually left over from tomorrow's video. It's actually a vellum petal, but it looks a bit like a heart or even a little bit of sea glass. So if I pop that on there and have those on top. So I'll dip this little heart petal slash piece of sea glass into some PVA glue and pop it about there. And now I'm gonna add this one. And then this one. Going over the edge a bit. And that one I wanna put in the middle, but I might get another petal slash piece of sea glass and put that over there like that and pop that one on top I like that so we've got some splashy sea we've got some sea glass and we've got some seaweed and for my sentiment I've got this happy birthday that I printed at home on my printer I'm going to stick it there but I'm going to give it a border like this a little bit more of my gilding wax. So I'm going to pop the little strip that I covered in the gilding wax down first and then add the happy birthday and leave it to dry because I think when you've got a bit of the wax on it can take a bit longer for the glue to stick everything together. And I'll put something heavy on that just to hold it down so it all sticks. But I'm pretty happy with that. So there we go. One card made with homemade glimmer paste using some luscious powders, some glitter and some PVA glue. I hope you've enjoyed the video and that it has encouraged you to maybe try making your own glitter paste. If it has, do come along to my Facebook group and share your creations there. We'd love to see them. Also, please do like, subscribe and ring the notification bell and I will see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.